we got into the business of veterinary formulations in 2002 we saw there was a big opportunity there has been indian companies who has been selling human medicines in many other countries india is one of the largest manufacturers of pharmaceutical hub and uh, in these foreign countries when I visited, I saw that there were really not many veterinary medicines coming from India. They were all European brands and there was an opportunity because we produce the same quality medicine at a much competitive price. So we got into the business of veterinary formulations with totally focusing on this particular segment and we set up a manufacturing facility keeping in mind the export market. Uh, the whole idea was to design the manufacturing facility in such a manner that any company or any regulatory authority which visits us and have a look at a manufacturing facility, they should say this is the company where we would like to do business with. I'm the uh, managing director of the company. I did my MBA in 1999 from SPGN College in general management. This was a family business program where the emphasis was on looking at all the aspects of business, not on a particular segment and how do you take the business forward. And uh, after a couple of years, getting into some other business ideas, we got into the business of veterinary formulations in 2002. When we started this business of veterinary formulations, we were totally focused on the export market. The Indian market is something different and you require different competencies and uh, there has been a lot of crowd in the Indian market. There has been in companies in India who have been there for many, many years in India. So we wanted to do something different. We, we looked at the export market and we built up our whole uh, marketing business strategy around that. So in Indian market, we are there, but in a very minor scale compared to what we are uh, doing in the export market. We are uh, into the veterinary formulations for uh, different animal segments, uh, livestock category, which is like cattle, sheep, goats, then pets, we've got cats and dogs, we've got medicines for poultry. So equines, we've got a complete range of products like antibiotics, anthelmintics, uh, feed supplements for these uh, animal segments. We've got uh, various brands, we are uh, manufacturing products in our own brand uh, and most of them is in our own brands and we've been uh, selling majorly to the livestock cattle, cattle market. We've got a uh, lot of anthelmintics that we are selling to the cattle segment. We've got antibiotics and we've got uh, other range of products as well. We are into the business of veterinary formulation. It's a big pharma industry where there's a lot of competition. We focused on the veterinary segment, which is the uh, medicines for the animals. And uh, in the international market, there has been companies who's been selling human medicines. And we started with the veterinary formulations. Now, once we started with the veterinary formulations, we had a manufacturing facility, which is uh, top standards that we could uh, think of and uh, we would like to have all the inspections passed. That was one of our key focus areas when we uh, started this business. By doing this, what we could do is, we could uh, focus on the export market. We did not concentrate much on the Indian market and we were like a company which was coming in the midway. There's been a lot of big companies in Indian market who've been uh, selling in the local market and there has been small companies in the Indian market who's been supplying to these major companies. So we were somewhere in middle where we develop an infrastructure in such a way that we would be strong on the registrations, focus on registering the products in many countries and then we would export, go all out, market our products in these uh, foreign countries and we would establish a brand name in those countries. So that's how we've been able to uh, you know, step aside, look at the market differently, create a niche for ourselves in the industry and we've uh, done uh, exceedingly well looking at uh, what uh, the average pharma industry would have gone through during this uh, last uh, eight, nine years or 10 years period of time. Uh, we, we looked at the opportunity. I think uh, looking at the opportunity and then passionately following up for what you believe in was, was the secret. Like, you know, I, I, I really believe that there was an opportunity. You put your uh, infrastructure back correctly to and catch that opportunity. So we did precisely that and we went all out for that. Yeah, as I said, we are looking at the market in a totally different manner. We've gone not as a trading company in the international market. Being a small company, things get difficult. We were very small when we started and we said that, okay, let's, we have to make a brand in the international market. We have uh, had a different kind of marketing strategy wherever we've been. 
we have looked at uh, different kind of uh, process innovation product uh, we've come up with new products uh, continuously and we found that we could uh, position our products in a different manner in different market segments uh, we we were the first company in india to be dedicated have a very big plan for the veterinary formulation we were the first company in india to have a wg gmp for especially being in the veterinary field we passed uh, certain major inspections from uh, different health authorities and i think that was the launching pad for us to cater to so many markets currently we are exporting to more than 50 countries and we've been inspected and approved by five to six different uh, health authorities of different countries and we've also been inspected and approved by certain uh, european companies who's been doing the product from us so their quality assurance scheme visits us they do our first audit of our facilities and uh, we've been uh, marketing a product uh, worldwide now we always believe in a lot of transparency we have done uh, like uh, we you know the employee relationship connect that we have we've always been uh, very transparent not only with employees with the suppliers with the customers if if sometimes a supplier has charged us less we would go back to a supplier and say see you got charged us less you made a mistake in your invoice and uh, if there is some problem with the customer we are very very open with the customer if the customer say there's some kind of problem we do not question our customers we do exactly what the customer wants and uh, we've been uh, looking at the we feel we are responsible we, we we don't want to be short lived we are looking at the long term and we believe that okay i we might lose something in the short term but in the long term it's uh, we've created a sustainable ecosystem by whereby the employees the other uh, bankers any uh, suppliers customers anybody who's associated with us in any manner it's it's like an open book the ashish life science is an open book for everybody uh, they they can uh, you know there's a lot of transparency there's a lot of different kind of relationship with we share with everybody so is this this kind of relationship with everybody we all support each other and during the times of uh, difficult or uh, in some kind of uh, problems we understand each other and then we move away together yeah ashish life science has always believed that whatever we do it has to be for long term so quality is never compromised quality is never compromised the cost is uh, we look at the cost but we never compromise on the quality see we are associated with uh, one uh, ngo called uh, dreamland uh, education society i am the public relations officer of that organization uh, we have got around uh, six schools in and around the uh, this particular region palgar tarapur region and we are supporting that particular cause we've uh, also made some uh, kind of building structure for some schools we've donated uh, benches water tanks computers we believe that uh, the education is very important for everybody and everybody should uh, be a part of it so we do it as a part of the company's regular activities and even our uh, employees are involved in this kind of activities yeah we are looking at uh, different kinds of marketing in different uh, countries we are planning to open regional offices in uh, uh, different parts of the world where by which we can strengthen our marketing and uh, we are also uh, looking at uh, setting up new facilities for uh, different lines of products and we are aiming to uh, grow at a pace of 30 to 40% over the next period of 5 to 10 years our uh, marketing strength the way we looked at the market and the way we approach the market has been quite different uh, compared to what uh, others has been doing and uh, the kind of culture that we build around the organization with our uh, how we connected uh, within the people in the organization i think we've uh, always worked as a team that's that's been very important for us the usp of ashish life science has been the way it has approached and looked at the market it has been quite different we have done some kind of uh, marketing in a such a different manner we approach the customers in a different manner we have looked at the market in a different manner it's been a combination of various activities uh, how how we looked at the market it's been a very very difficult uh, time over the period of years difficult and exciting as well it's been sometimes you know there has been phases during these years where there's been a lot of uh, pressure for a lot of different things and uh, you really feel like quitting sometime but uh, that's when we you really pull up your socks and you said no you have to carry on you have to move on and this 
challenges that we faced during different phases of our uh, growth has actually made us stronger over a period of time and it has helped us to grow faster. Ashish Life Science, when it started 12 years back, it was with an objective of a long-term sustainable business model. We started with a few products with one customer. At this point of time, we have got 50 customers, more than 50 customers worldwide. And we are having more than 250 products. And this has been because of a long-term strategy.